see there's some deer up here in Tennessee. We ain't never deer hunted up here, but we're just going to give them a try. And I bought a whole brand new truck for this trip. Just for this Just trip. for this trip. He ain't going to use it for nothing else. So we'll sell it when I get back. <laughs> we're going deer hunting. We got the old ramrod nozzle choppers with us. We are going to go see if we can't smoke a whole one. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be very picky. We want to get us some muzzleloader deer down here in Tennessee this year. And we got three days to do it. Second day here in Tennessee, muzzleloader season. And uh, pretty morning. Clear skies. Good frost on the ground. It's cold. And uh, the ditch over here is like 157 yards. So anything on the ditch this way will do. Man, he's probably losing the other boat too. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is losing his boat too. You wanna go track this boat? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my first ever muzzleloader deer. Buck down. Number one in Tennessee. <laughs> You're such a buzzkill. Alright guys, we're back for 
the evening. Got in here about one o'clock. Farmers were loading some cows, so we let them get out of here. Slipped on back here while they were making that racket. He's down, he's right here behind me. I got the big one. Oh my god, dude, he's down. He, he died like six, ten yards from me. He's, he's down. No, he's down right here. Man, yeah, see, but two beer all evening. I was fixing to start packing my stuff up. My turn, and this thing was standing 30 yards from me. I don't know, I don't know how I didn't spook him. No idea, but man, Tennessee has been good to me this year. All right, let's get some pictures and we'll get full of All right. Y'all stay tuned and more, need more coming. We're going to go check out this old buck deer running this doe in this field. We just got permission to go shoot it. And see, yeah, from our landlord. So. We're gonna go check and see just exactly what he is because we kind of just skimmed over him and went on. But if he's decent enough, we may just hang out and eat oysters the rest of the day if I can get him. All right, well, we got stopped and got a good look at him and we figured, you know, he's He's about 140, so we wanted to let him go another year, year pounds. 12. I don't think he was 140 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna make this intro quick. We just got set up and there was two hot does running through here. We didn't see nothing behind them, but we're pretty sure something's close. So we tucked up next to this fence line on this cow field. Hopefully we're gonna make something happen here pretty soon. So y'all stay with us. Alright, good morning everybody. Uh, we're over here. Our landlord Ben. We're over here at his farm. I'm gonna film him this morning. He's got a pretty good buck coming in. And uh, a couple that he said I can shoot. So we're gonna come over here and hope we hoping we gonna tag to him on one. Do you still see him? Okay, just see him, guys. Yeah, I do see him. There you go. He's walking to the right. Alright, guys. Last day. It's Sunday morning. We're planning on pulling out today. And, uh, I have yet to make it happen. I got on a, I saw a boat yesterday evening and I just couldn't get a shot off on him, so here we are this morning trying to trying to make it happen.
แม่ชุดสูบเลย That's the blood from yesterday See Last morning Last morning here in Tennessee Oh my God Six forty-eight in the freaking morning. Yes, sir. I had a spike come out on me up here, and he went to the. He come out straight in front of me where I just shot the deer, and went to the right. And then he started working his way back in the woods and angling to the left. And then I just saw a body, and I was like, okay, well that's that spike. Pull my binoculars up. It's that same buck from yesterday. Old Tennessee rack buck. Man, I've hunted hard this week. And uh, finally got it done on the last day. So, man, I'm pumped. I appreciate my buddy, old, old Ben boys. For letting us hunt down here on his place or letting me hunt down here the past couple days well, i set tagged out monday so it has been a struggle for me and i finally made it happen this morning so i couldn't be happier and uh, it's time to go back to mississippi with an old tennessee rack buck Get up to the food pot, sure enough, them does were standing out there feeding and they were getting a little nervous. I think they knew something was going on, but they really couldn't tell. We were kind of in some hedges behind some big pines. They really couldn't see us, but I think they were getting nervous. So they started easing off the food plot. Instantly. Get to clean another deer. Get some more hamburger meat, baby. Still in that freezer. Down to our last couple of days of hunting season here in Mississippi. Me and old Brooke and his daughter AK decided to put a little stalk midday on some does. It's been really, really cold the last couple of days and deer's been on their feet and man, this part of our club, there's just a lot of does. We need to take a few out. So I think our whole club's only killed like 11 this year. So I needed some more meat and uh, definitely need to do a little management here. So 
We got it done. We got it done here in South Mississippi, real South hunting. Giving God the praise for these fine, beautiful animals. And uh, we're gonna get her out here, go get her cleaned up and get ready for her evening hunt. All right, them ropes and racks boys done a good job. Got some meat in the freezer. Killed some nice bucks for sure. Big A had a little room left in his freezer, so he got that done tonight too. So appreciate y'all watching. We'll be right back next week right here on Real South Honey.